Good day to you all. My name's NG Paradox, and remember, our shells are iron, and our pincers... Is it pincers or claws? I've now forgotten. Our claws are sharp, I think. Pincers, yeah. A bit too, bit too specific. Our claws are sharp. Excellent, yes. We're back with the, la uh, the LAN. LAN docks. At the moment, he's been very ambitious trying to take stuff. We're now just looking on what we want to take next. I mean... Oxcross kind of goes into these lands. I think Goldshire might be a nice one to have. You know, it's called Goldshire. There's obviously gold here. And it's a very good castle. Then obviously we have Moorland and we have Fang Tower, which could be particularly good. You know, it is kind of here by this. But I think we're going to go for Goldshire. Let's go for that. Let's fabricate a claim on Goldshire. Let's check them out. He does have allies, yeah, we, we beat the Sarsfield last time, but the time he gets a claim on that, likely that will disappear. Let's check out the rest. Um, obviously, yeah, we want him to be educated, my children. A treasurer, she's definitely the best treasurer. Spymaster, he's a better spymaster, actually. Mr. Ma Marfin. Who's Marfin? We need to get you married. Everyone in my council gets married, that's how I do it. Um, I guess it have to be this girl. She's 39, but you're old as well, so it's fine. And the maester, yep, that's all fine. And Septon. Okay, good. So that's our council. I'm just about to give some land to my good... Actually, I should better check my court, wasn't I? Make sure there's no particular names. We do have Kennens. Um, there are some Kennens, obviously, we could give land to. Uh, my wife, the Estrin. Any particular family? Just Kennens, I guess. But yeah. And Westford. Oh, Westford is actually... Yeah, we could give something to Westford, I guess. He's actually, no, he's actually in Fang Tower at the moment, so they're in my jail. We should probably deal with these people, ransom them or execute. I, I think Lan would like the money, so we're going to ransom them, even just for 10 gold. We'll have to wait for the other one to go through. But yeah, so who are we going to give this to? I think just my friend then. We'd either give it to the Kennens, but I think, you know, he's my friend. We'll give it to him. Tendring. And there we go. His name is now Macklesworth. So there we go, Macklesworths are now under us. We also obviously have uh, the Carnaby, the Carnaby, I guess. Yeah, Carnaby family. And of course, the Jazwells, who have served us for a couple of generations now. But he has gonorrhea, which is not good. Okay, let's let time move on then. And we've been offered a commander position again. Always just commander He never gives us anything good, Mr. Damien. He is educating my son, so I, I can't really say too many bad things. And he's doing a, not, not too bad a job, actually. My son seems to turn out okay overall. Uh, let him rot for now. His wife's not pregnant. He's given me the money. And we're going to get 10 more gold. I mean, it's just 20 gold, but, you know, every little helps, really. So how's the battle going? So at the moment, she is winning, of course. I, I can't imagine Wayfarer's rest... <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine the Vance's being able to hold them off right now. But because of this, it looks as though Damien the Just had declared Western under war for Lord Burton's claim on Fang Tower. So it looks as though he's trying to take advantage of the situation with this war going on. And he's now going to attack the Reach, who are controlled by a very young boy. And Damien now has even more soldiers, 72,000 men, while the Reach only has 25,000 men. The regent, uh, the lady, Gracefood, she's going to have to hold them off. Don't think she's going to have a good time here. Not at all. There's the Osgreys. Ah, Osgreys. I, I read the Duncan Egg novels again recently, and so I just uh, have fond feelings for the Osgreys right now. <laughs> okay. Righteous imprisonment. She will not stop her thing. She's not had any more kids, so it looks as though she's the only one. That's perfect. My son will marry her. My son is now brave. Always good to see when your child's brave. Um, he's patient, kind. He's turned out to be a good kid, actually. All we need now is just to be a trained fighter. Can I force him to train? I can't force him to train, can I? I'm a terrible fighter. <laughs> I can't even fight, let alone train my children. So it looks like we're going to have an easy time here. I can't imagine it's going to be too difficult. Uh, Burton Moorland. So they're doing it for Burton here. Burton of Moorland. So he'll get that as well. Hmm. Moorlands have been pretty smart in that situation. What are the Florence doing? Okay, the Florence are joining the Queen in her war. And looks as though the war is won. She's now taken Wayfarer's rest. That's made the land look a lot more nicer. That looks much better now. She just needs to take these few and then she can take the rest. 
Hopefully she does continue that. Uh, the Rigers control Harrenhal. High Lordship of Rainwood we could do, but it's so far away. It seems kind of ridiculous. And we had a daughter, Saya Dock. So we had another daughter. She is sickly. Oh my god, two, why so many daughters? <laughs> why are we having so many? I mean, I don't mind our daughters, but it just seems like so many. What are the chances? My brother's just having girls? I only had one son. He's now stressed, apparently, Will it is. His wife is 27. They still have time as well. Um, but my third daughter now is an educator. Someone who's good at stewardship. Um, Serona. She could be a good... She's terrible at other things. While Lauren the Septon's actually really good at learning. Which could help her out a bit. And Leona is actually quite good at a few things. But not diplomacy. What about his traits? Diligent, shy, deceitful, temperate. And she is deceitful, rude, ambitious, and shy. Uh, we'll, we'll go for the Septon, I think. What is my maester doing? What is my maester like? Why is he not good enough to educate any of my children? Oh, yes, because he's terrible. God damn you, maester. God damn you. I mean, he has got... He did get our two children, actually, to get some nice things, actually. And so far, my... Uh, you should be in case, actually, protecting us. But so far, he's not done a good, good job at training my children. I mean, it is only a 7% chance, but still. I don't know. I feel like I, I've had it happen more often, even with 7% chance, than this. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get trained. I think he'll probably just end up being a trained fighter. I don't think he's going to get skilled fighter, sadly. Ah, the Lannister just doesn't want to help me enough. And there we go. The battles have begun. I'm actually in one part. I'm in Brent Brook. Where's Brent Brook? I'm not actually sure where Brent Brook is. We up here somewhere? Are we leading men up here? It looks like the Black Tide. Goddamn Ironborn always coming to attack people. Ah, there we go. So I'm actually up here in this army. So we're very far away from the fight. And obviously Lan, he, he's, he, we know he's a smart man. He knows what he's doing here. He's kind of staying away from the fight, acts like he's involved. 97%. This war is done, basically. Poor gardeners. They never stood a chance. And the young girl, Gail, has not got married yet, but she is wounded, apparently. So she was wounded when she took Wayfarer's rest. What about her sister? Her sister, the princess, is 15 years old. She didn't turn out so good, yeah. You definitely don't want Gail to die, because she did not turn out anywhere near as well. I like that. The Lannisters got their borders back. Just some nice borders again. And the Morlands took that. All, all in all, that was a pretty good event, I think. Very nice for us. Bodyguards and whatnot. We don't really have any good bodyguards at all, I don't think. Don't know if there's still an independence faction. I, I'm, I'll be surprised if there's still an independence faction. Most likely it's gone. Lana Lannister is dead. She's married to the Lorch. They have one daughter left, apparently. But she got married to a few people, maybe. Or she at least had bastards with some other people, I think, yeah. To Tawny of Morn Hill. So my vassal invites me to the Tawny of Morn Hill, the Carnabies. Do we go? Do I really care? I am gregarious. So maybe we should go. But then we've been to quite a lot of Tawnies. Um, I think it's below us. We're fed up with Tawnies right now. We, we don't really have the need to go. We'll increase the time now as well, because not much is happening at the moment. My son is now 10, almost to the age when he can get married. A glorious day it shall be. What is she doing? You, you better not be trying to kill me here. Okay, she's not trying to kill me. At least she stopped whatever she was planning to do. Establish a household guard. Maybe we should have a household guard at some point. That might be useful to have. Invited the tawny of Nuns Deep. Um, I'm fine. We're, we're not going into Nuns Deep, I don't think, Foots. Foots, we, we have no reason to go see you. Small feudal taxes. We'll approve. What are the Rosby's doing? Rosby's aren't really doing much. It's just kind of sat there waiting. They do have stock worth, though. The Duskendale seems to be in a bit of a problem. Why are they fighting the Tullys? De jour over Southstone. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, so time I've been an employee of Lord Poliver. So this guy would like to come work for me. He's a very smart man, very good marshal, steward, and also good at learning. You know what? We need men like you. I accept. We need men like that. We need more men like this guy. Elective succession for the Iron Throne. That is the Stormlands there. So again, another faction popping up. Maybe the Iron Throne is not completely safe yet. Now, what would that guy be best at? I can't remember what the things he was good at. He was a good marshal, but he's not good at training for fighting. Let's have a quick look. He was good at martial, stewardship, and learning. So we could get him, obviously, for the stewardship. He can't be a septon or a maester, of course. That means his learning is kind of useless in that situation. So I guess we should probably make him the treasurer. Um, but he's the same, actually. Okay, we'll leave him for now then. Um, once our children have come to age, we'll replace the Master at Arms with him. But right now I need the guy who can actually fight because um, the Master at Arms, they train children. It's based upon the fighting skill, not the actual martial. Which is actually makes a lot more sense. So I'm really glad they did that in the mod. They've made a few things that make... Oh! Oh! I did not even realize the Riverlands had been given away. Well, there we go. <laughs> I did not even realize that. Uh, Lord Landox, I invite to the Tawny of Greenfield. This is below me. I heard about the mad mad woman who tries to blackmail Septon Tywell before my friend. Okay, we'll help him out. But who is the, who is the new uh, Lord Paramount? The Waynes. Actually, I think I saw that a long time ago now I think about it. I think that was actually a while ago. 8.50. No, that wasn't. That wasn't a long time ago. Okay. The realm's in a state of war. Lord Paramount, Mallard of the Norse, War for the Iron Throne. There we go. Someone has finally done it. And we're supporting that. Okay, let's have a quick look here. So it looks as though the Starks. I did say someone was going to do something. The Starks have decided to push themselves for his own claim. And Lord Paramount, Mallard of Stark, thinks he should be the Lord of the Iron Throne. He's a skilled fighter. Very good marshal. Okay. Uh, married to that Tollert girl. Uh, Tollheart girl, obviously. I'm sorry, sometimes I say the names wrong. It's not because I'm necessarily saying them wrong. It's just kind of my accent. When I say it quickly, it can sound a bit off. Just like when I say Crackhall and stuff. It can sound like other names. Now, who's his heir? Just this one boy. That's the only boy he has. So the girl will be next. Oh, but she's a snow. She's a bastard. So it'll be this girl next. Lady Melina. Okay. So he's declared war. Looks like White Harbor has decided to not take any sides. Duncan Mandley has decided not to take any sides in this. He has 43,000 men. That's not looking good. The King Beyond the Wall, though, has managed to get even more men, and he's taken Haunted Forest now. He's 51 years old, though. He needs to hurry up. But I don't think this is going to be good. It looks like quite a few small lords have joined the Queen, and the Arons, and the Septon, and the Lannisters. So the Lannisters and the Arons are the only one to back the Queen. But she has 30,000 of her own men. And obviously her aunt, <gasps> Bela the Black Dragon, is dead. She died of depression. What a sad, sad day for everyone. Poor Bela the Black Dragon. Are there any dragon riders left in the Iron Throne? There are not. Only the Brindlemen now have dragons. I mean, there are still dragons in King's Landing, but no one seems to want to try to uh, to take them. I think she, maybe she did. Maybe that's how she got wounded. She probably tried to tame one of the dragons. That would make the most sense. And she's in Summerhall. So, yeah, so we're now helping the Queen, because obviously we're loyal bannermen to the Lannisters. We support them, so we're going to help them. Your dedication to religious pursuits has been noticed. We've made a, another Septon friend. The only friends I'm going to have are going to be Septons. Let's change our theology focus. Um, how about we go... I'm an honorable man, so we're not going to go for, like, intrigue kind of things. Even though apparently I did kill my brother. That really goes against that, doesn't it? Um, hunting. Carousing. Family. Scholarship. How about we go for more scholarship stuff? Yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's keep the, let's keep the theology. I, I think that's the one that fits in the most. I think that's the one that fits in the most, so we'll keep to that. But yeah, so the war has begun... To fight off the North. I can't see the North winning this. With the Lannisters on the Queen's side, it's not a good position for them. She still has no... Oh, she is pregnant, though, now. So there we go. The Arons might be inherited. The Vale might be inherited by a Marsh family. By the Marsh family, I guess I should say. But here we go. The war's beginning. 
No dragons, though, so the Starks have chosen, I guess, the best time they could choose. But overall, they just they needed more people to back them up. They needed to, or at least hope that, I guess, that they hoped that other people would rebel as well. But apparently no one else wanted to rebel. So there we go. Unless he has something secret planned, like he has lots of money. No, he does not have lots of money. So there we go. The North actually controls Wickham. Huh. Why does the North control Wickham? Did not notice that before. But yeah. Garth for the Reach faction. A lot of factions going on many places. My wife is bloody pregnant again. Jesus, wife. Five children. I, I really did not expect to have this many children. How about my brother? He, he's still got his three daughters. His wife is only 28, though. She, they could have more children, just like my wife as well. Powerman Hector has now come to age. Not the best lord there is. But he, he seems he's a craven, kind, honest... Oh dear, he's not a good lord. He's a nice guy. He's just not a good leader. Um, refuse the retra retraction of the vassal. Ooh, so he's upset his vassals now. War against his tyranny, and he's everyone has turned against him. This is not looking good for Hector. It looks like his brother, Garth, might end up being the new ruler. Yep, that's not looking good for him at all. Now, my leader men. I am leader men at the moment. Let's see. Will I come up against any northern soldiers? I don't think our families, our families never fought northern soldiers. So we're nuns deep. I think that's here. Yes. So 11,000 men. Yeah, we've never fought northmen. So it would be kind of nice if we can get to fight some northmen. It looks like we're moving back. Actually, we're keeping all our men back mostly. Now they're moving a bit. Actually, we're keeping most of our men back. Uh, only 12,000 men. Have gone off the fight. Though it looks as though the Arons and the Queen are be pushing the Northmen back. Yeah, the Northmen have had to retreat back into the north to suffer a lot of attrition. So it's not a good day for the Northmen. They really probably should want those Mandleys, five thousand extra men. I mean, any uh, any men would really help here. Looks like we suffered some attrition. Okay, there's, actually they were brought here by ships. Looks like people are coming by ship. Okay, where am I? Am I still there then? Greywater Watch. So I'm actually now in Greywater Watch, apparently. There we go. Army of Lord Land. So I'm actually in the thick of it this time. So I might end up fighting them. We might end up having to fight some Northmen. Now I think it's just called the Westerland Army. Let's check here. I'm now in case. Okay, so I've now been... <laughs> I, 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 the one thing I don't like about this game is the fact it can kind of transport commanders. You can kind of put a man in there and you take him out. He just gets transported straight away back to case. And you can put him on something else. Cast a mirror. It would be kind of cool that if you set like a, a, a commander, like he can't be transported somewhere else. Or it takes time, maybe. That would be even better if it takes time if you take them off. That would be perfect, actually, if they did that. But, you know, I digress. You know, you kind of everything, can you? At the moment, it's 22%. No one is coming to the aid of the Starks. And we had a boy, Rob Dox. Well, there we go. A second son. Nothing special about him, but, you know, there's nothing bad about him. He's not actually ugly. <laughs> um, my son never got trained fighter. What is going on? I'm concerned that Lord Willett has been designated as regent. Should it be needed, I'm worried he would be unsuitable and would divide the realm. My supporters and I ask that you remove... Uh, this honor from him at once and appoint me as regent in his steed. Ooh, you sneaky little man, Florian Rutland. You sneak, that's quite a few supporters. Um, maybe we should, maybe we should. No Lord Willet will make a fine regent. He is an ambitious man and he is deceitful. Lan, what, what are you thinking here? You're patient, ambitious. Yeah, you're not going to take any of his slack, I don't think. Now nah, he'll be fine. None of those people in his people who supported him. None of them are really important. None of them are my vassals. They're all kind of council people, uh, people in the court. So it's not a big deal. So that's fine. A lot of people want to be my regent, it would seem. A lot of damn people. We now have 7,200 men. Very nice. Sarsfield's finally starting to regain its men. Poliver Macklesworth actually had a son. There we go. But obviously they're of case because his wife, uh, we married them matrilineally at the time because he couldn't marry her otherwise. 
Fathers declared a revolt against the rule of Gilbert the Holy. So the Harfons, ooh. They believe in the Lord of Light, the Hawthorns, apparently. No wonder they're having troubles. But yeah, okay. So the Hawthorns are to the role of religion. Uh, Lord Land, the finances of the realm are in a poor state. The Westerlands has an urgent need of gold, so I hereby request you provide a loan. Wow, the Lannisters are asking House Docks for a loan. Hmm. Well, we did become lords because of our fine business acumen when we, our, monst uh, our lobster um, industry. How about we do it then? Yeah, we'll give them the money. He'll pay us back. We trust the Lannisters for now. They always pay their debts, as people say. They always pay their debts. Lannister claim on Greenmont War. Okay, so now someone else is going to take advantage. Everyone's taking advantage of these situations right now. Uh, the Starks are being pushed back still. 50%. Uh, the Westerman up here. I'm in Banefort at the moment, apparently. So I'm just like near the Riverlands. Yeah, so we're just here. Okay, this shouldn't take long. Poor Starks. They made a pretty bad choice here. I mean, it is nice to see someone do something against the Targaryens. This is the first time. This is actually the first real big rebellion against the Targaryens. So you gotta, you got to commend the Starks, you know. Since Aegon died and the dragons are gone, this is the first kind of big rebellion. So you gotta give them, you got to give them where uh, praise is due. Though it's kind of ended in complete failure. <laughs> this greedy Stark man. He wanted it all. No matter what the cost. It might just cost him his life. Maybe his family's, you know, uh, positions. 94%. Almost completely done there. How's the reach doing? 100% in favor. And there we go. The reach has been taken, but given to his brother, Lord Paramount Garth. His Garth is just coming to age now as well. He What the? He's only chased. What the? How did... <laughs> How did he not get any other traits at all? I mean, what is this? <laughs> okay, his heir would be Hector. He's not even married either. Ugh, the gardeners have had a very bad children, and Leo is a craven. Jesus, this has not gone well for them. The gardeners are in dire straits when it comes to their family. Just, I, I mean, I'm pretty happy with my family so far. They've not been too bad. If only you could speak with a trained fighter, it'd be perfect. I'd be very happy the way he's turned out. Lord Paramount Maud of the North has ended. The Queen won, of course. There we go. Queen Gale of the Iron Throne. Still not gotten married. And is she stressed? Was that stressed? No, still wounded. Okay, yeah. I thought maybe that was the stress. So she's not going to be able to tame a dragon until that disappears. And Malador has been put into jail. Uh, the Boltons become his regents for now. But yeah, what will happen? Will they take the North from him? Will they kill him? Will they will they send him to the wall, maybe? Many things could happen here. And what is this? On the... Oh, finally, people, it has been done. I guess because we gave him the gold. Damon has finally seen it worthy to put me on his council. I would like to offer you the honor of a place on my council as Justice Seer. This is what we've wanted from the beginning. We've always wanted to become Justice Seer. And finally it's done. We can have a new ambition. What would Lan choose to do? And I know people are going to want me to do an Obtain Valerian Sword. But I just don't think Lan is the type of man to do that. We need a fighter to do that. That's the type of man who will go get a Valerian Steel Sword. Um, uh, honorary title, I guess. Befriend Lord Pam. Become a Higher Lord. Higher Lords can be difficult. Improve combat ability. Become Regent. He's an ambitious man. So we're going to go for Regent. Yeah. He wants honorary titles. But Regent is even more delicious. <laughs> now, it looks like the Hawthorns were able to beat back the rebellion. Okay. And I think we'll end it there then. So, that'll be it for today. Um, Southstone seems to have taken Horaway Town. River Run is still there at the moment. Um, the Blackwoods, I think they, they lost some land. Maidstone, maybe, to River Run. And they seem to have gained this, which the Sea Guard seems to have lost, it looks like. Is this still under the north? It's still under the north. But yeah, a few weird things going on. Let's have a quick look at Tyrosh. Oh, and Tyrosh is in trouble. And Cahor just <laughs> took Maya. What is going on there? Okay. I'm trying to avoid up here because as we know, that can cause crashes from my experience. And it looks like the king died. At 45 years old, he died a natural death. 
His dragon then obviously is somewhere, but his son got the dragon egg. King Boogig. And that's probably why there's rebellions, because this is a good opportunity. Ma uh, Master Goris is his regent. Only 10,000 men. What is the rebellion exactly? Liberation of Volantis. Well, he's going to be in trouble there. But yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys next time.